How to trade on Uniswap step-by-step -step tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step -step on how you can get started with trading on Uniswap. Now, what is Uniswap and how can you trade on Uniswap? Well, Uniswap is a platform which allows you to select different tokens and exchange them. However, how does Uniswap differ from an exchange? Well, Uniswap is an on-chain marketplace which allows you to buy and sell crypto on Ethereum and 11 other chains. They have a DeFi platform with a web app and the Uniswap wallet. So Uniswap not only allows you to exchange via the web, but you can even use their own wallet services which allow you to simply, safely, and securely hold your crypto assets. Now, you can see they even have developer docs and liquidity which allows you to earn fees on swaps so let's get started to get started head on over to app.uniswap.org and once you do that you will have their basic setup which is just your basic token change if i want a price estimate i can just go on ahead select my tokens of choice let's say it's eth and i want to get mm, banana gun instead and i'm going to choose one eth that i want to sell which is worth around 1900 dollars and i would receive 111.125 banana and this is worth 1910 dollars you guys can see my fees are around 10 dollars on this and click on get started and i can proceed with my trade if i click on the details on the bottom you will see in this particular swap I have a 0.25% fee, which is $4.78. Then we have a network cost, then we have our order routing, price impact, as well as slippage. Now, all of these factors can also be changed, and we can go into settings and we can choose the amount of slippage we want. We can choose our TX or transactional timeline or deadline. So your transaction will revert if it is pending for more than this specific period of time. The max is three days. Then you have your trade options where you can choose default or you have different swap pools as well. Now in Uniswap, to be able to actually trade your crypto, you need your source of crypto, which means you need to connect your wallet. You can click on connect on the top right and it will give you two options where you have Uniswap mobile or Uniswap wallet. Below that, it gives you other coin or other cryptocurrency holding options. So if you have MetaMask, Phantom, Wallet Connect, Coinbase, or any other wallet that you are using instead of Uniswap's own wallet, you can select that wallet from here, and then you can proceed with your swapping of crypto. Now, I am going to be using a different wallet, and then later on in this video, I will be showing you guys now you can use Uniswap's own wallet as well. So we're gonna go with MetaMask over here and I'm going to click on connect on the top right and you guys can see on the top right, my MetaMask account has now been connected. Now I can easily sell or purchase into my MetaMask wallet directly from Uniswap. Rather than having to purchase or trade or swap on an exchange, I can do it in Uniswap and I can have my funds in my token. So from here, if I type in, let's say we have the PayPay token and I want to change that for a Uniswap token, let's say it's 2000 PayPay tokens that I want to sell. And then this would buy me 0.0023 Uniswap. Now I can click on get started. Once I do that, I can proceed on the transaction and then my trade can go through or my swap can go through. Now, not only does Uniswap allow us to trade or swap as the name suggests, but it has some other advanced features as well. So in Uniswap, if you go on ahead and click on limit, you actually can put a limit orders sending and buying on Uniswap. Now, what are limit orders? Well, limit orders are uh, orders which are actually going to be executed at a certain price so this means that if i want to purchase a token at a certain price i can do that so for example we want to sell at market price or let's say above a certain price 
I want to go with my limit order, which is going to be USDC. And I want to sell my ETH and buy USDC when this is the market price. So currently, when one USD or when one ETH is worth 1921, this is the current market price. So if the price of Ethereum jumps by 5%, which means the price goes to 2,700, or well, let's say 10%, then I want to sell one of my ETHs and I want to buy USDC instead, which means I would get like a 10% profit. If I even take out my fees and stuff, that would still, you know, render me in a profitable position. And that is how you can actually utilize some of the more advanced trading features within Uniswap, which because Uniswap is not something that now only allows you to swap. It's a fully functional exchange platform, which can help you in exchanging tokens and placing market orders as you normally would on a spot trading market. So you do have that opportunity on Uniswap as well. After that, you can click on send and you can send your tokens as well. So if you want to send your cryptocurrency tokens to another person or if you are looking to send out to yourself or your own wallet, you can just paste that wallet address over here, choose the token you want to send and your token will be sent. You can choose the amount of token or how many dollars worth of the token you want to send. So what I'm going to be doing is I just want to, let's just say we want to send one Ethereum. So instead of USDC, I would select Ethereum from the bottom and then I can select the recipient's address and paste it over here. Once I do that, the recipient can receive their cryptocurrency. Not only that, but if you click on buy over here, you can select to buy crypto directly in Uniswap. So you can select a token. Let's say I want to buy ETH and let's say I want to buy $100 worth of ETH. And it's going to give me options on how I can purchase. I can click on continue and you guys can see it's giving me banks out debit card as an option. So I can proceed with purchasing my Ethereum with banks out debit cards. Now, your options are going to vary based upon your geographical region. Let's say if we were in Canada right now and I wanted to buy $100 worth of Ethereum. Now, in Canada, I have Transac, I have Banksa, and I have Topper, which are all options for me to purchase with Uniswap. Now, on the top, you can see in your trading option, we have Swap, Limit, Send, and Buy, which we all have explored. But if we go into the Explore section, you guys can see we can explore different types of charts, graphs, and informational bits about tokens. You guys can see the Uniswap TVL, the Uniswap volume, as well as the tokens, pools, and transactions. You can see all open transactions as well as pools that they have, as well as tokens. One hour price change, one day price change, and their FDBs as well as volumes. Now if we go back up over here, and we go into pools, we can get more detail about that. And then if we click on pools and click on create position or repositions, we can view our liquidity position. Now you can provide liquidity on different protocols and that's how Uniswap basically functions. When you provide liquidity to an exchange, you can receive a lot of interest in return when you are providing that liquidity. So you guys can see we have open pool positions. And we can see we have new, then we have new V4, V2, and you can just select the token pair you want. Let's say I want to provide liquidity in ETH plus USDC. Then we have the fee tier, which is the amount earned providing liquidity. Choose the amount that suits your risk tolerance and strategy. Keep in mind, whenever you're providing liquidity, you are not going to be free from any risk. This does involve a lot of risk, and this is not going to be advice for anyone. This is just a guide for you guys to explore. And then later on, I do recommend going through everything on your own. You guys can see we have 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.3, and 1%. And we can see advanced tier options which where we can create or search for other tiers as well. We have 99%, 5%, 1%. We also have higher and lower tiers. And once you do that, you can click on continue. 
Now, after you've done that, you can deposit your token. So let's say I want to deposit one Ethereum. And then after that, I can just proceed with providing liquidity. Now you can click on create position to create your position and view position to view it. Then you can choose the status. So if it's in range, out range or closed, then you have your protocol as well as all the networks. And I would suggest that whenever you're opting for all of these different staking options or liquidity options, go through all of the information that is present because when you are providing liquidity, it comes with a lot of risks, which are ignored by most people because it's an investing tool, but sometimes it can actually drain your bank account and you will see warning signs at multiple stages whenever you are listing out your coins to be part of liquidity. So keep in mind, I do recommend you guys go through the entire article on providing liquidity to Uniswap before you go through with it or before you start providing liquidity. To their platform now we've seen a lot about liquidity and you know uniswap but what about the uniswap wallet well you can click on your wallets over here i'm gonna go into settings and we're going to log out or disconnect this wallet and you guys can see on the top right we have the uniswap wallet and we have two options you can get the extension or the mobile version we're going to click on extension over here once you click on extension, you guys can see the Uniswap wallet and you're just going to click on add to Chrome. Once you do that, you're going to click on add extension. Once you click on add extension over here on the top right, your extension is going to be downloaded. As your extension is being downloaded, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds. And once we do that, we're going to click on the top. And we have two options. If you already have a wallet, you can log on and you can click on create a wallet. Then you're going to choose a suitable username for your wallet that you are creating on Uniswap. Once you do that, you can click on continue and then you can click on continue once more. And then you can proceed with a suitable password for your Uniswap account. So we're just going to type our password right in click on continue and you have to write down your recovery phrase. Now you want to ensure you're not sharing this with anyone. This is supposed to be a complete secret and you do want to ensure that your recovery phrase is written down somewhere. Now it's not recommended to have your recovery phrase copied and pasted in your notes or any digital device because digital devices are prone to security breaches. So it's really important that if you if you have this recovery phrase somewhere, it's somewhere safe and secure where nobody else would be able to access it. So once you've written this down, you can continue a copy and you're going to be asked a question or, you know, they're going to quiz you on your recovery phrase just to ensure you've actually written it down. We're going to write our first word, then our eighth word, which is program. Then our ninth word is category. After that, we're going to open up the Uniswap extension. This is what our extension looks like. So we can open up the web app of Uniswap as well. And on the right, you guys can see this is what the Uniswap extension looks like for our Uniswap wallet. This is going to be our wallet address. It's an ETH wallet. And then on the right, you, you will also see language as well as currency and connections and your testnet mode. Then after that, you will see all your other options on Uniswap, which includes purchasing, receiving crypto, as well as sending, swapping, buying. So if you want to buy crypto, you can directly purchase with a card or within any platform that you prefer and you can connect your uniswap wallet to your basic uniswap platform to have easy access now uniswap is not just one tool that is available only for you to use on a desktop or on chrome but uniswap is far 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 more easier to access on your phone uniswap is going to be packed with all the features that you love and you guys are familiar with but on a mobile device as well. So if you're looking to use Uniswap directly on the go when you are running errands or just when you are moving through life, you can easily do that as well. 
Now for this, I'm going to show you guys how you can use Uniswap on your mobile devices as well. And we're just going to open that up quickly so you guys can see what Uniswap is going to look like on mobile devices. I'm going to wait for our screen to pop up. We're just going to reconnect our mobile device so you guys can see it. So here we have our mobile screen and in our mobile screen, if we go into apps and or Google Play Store, you can just search for Uniswap in Google Play Store or your Apple Store. And you want to download this application, which is the Uniswap wallet. Once you've done that, you can see I have this downloaded and I can click on Uniswap wallet over here. Once I do that, I can add an existing wallet or create a new one. And then I'm just going to skip this for now. I'm going to skip my notifications. I'm going to skip Face ID. However, Face ID can be a extra layer of security for your wallet. And this is our wallet right over here. So this is a simple wallet and we can click on buy and sell and start purchasing and selling. Not only that, but we can do all our basic features. So if we click on send, we can send. If we click on receive, we can receive. And on the bottom, you can search for tokens and wallets as you normally would. You even get full-fledged graphs to, to see trends and price analyses and be able to compare. Then you will see all top tokens by volume and you can search by market cap. You can search by price increase or price decrease as well. And if you want to get started with swapping, you will see the swapping option at the bottom. So you can search for whichever token you want to swap. Click on swap over here. Choose your secondary token. Say it's going to be the Dogecoin. We have Dogecoin over here and click on continue. Then after that, I can enter how many Dodge or ETH I want to trade. Let's say I want to trade 0.1 ETH for Dogecoin. And you guys will see on the bottom, I will see my network costs as well as the overall price conversion that I'm getting and whether or not I have the balance to proceed with this trade. Now, a really great thing about using Uniswap on your mobile device is that you can stay in touch with anything that you want to monitor in the crypto market. For example, I want to take a look at the price changes in Dogecoin. So I can simply open up the token and then heart it from the top right. Once I heart something, it becomes a part of my favorites. And once it's in my favorites, I can easily monitor the price of that in my explore token section as well. Not only that, if you click on settings, you have all of your basic settings and wallet information as well. And if we go ahead and go into our explore token section, we can see all of our marked or highlighted tokens, whether it was on our mobile device or it was on our desktop device. So that is how easy and simple it is to get started with Uniswap. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.